you got some new beard products, but unfortunately you don't like them for whatever the reason may be. Maybe it doesn't agree with the skin underneath your beard. Maybe your beard hairs themselves don't style very well. Maybe you don't like the scent or most importantly, maybe the significant other in your life doesn't like the scent. Now you're left with a beard product that you don't know what to do with, so let's talk about it. And when I say let's, I mean let us. I would really love for this to be a community conversation. I'm gonna share my thoughts, I'm gonna give my ideas and perspective, but I need to hear from you guys down in that comment section, especially if it's something that I didn't think of or I didn't cover Let's get those ideas out there because it can really help out a whole lot of people. And with that said, right, kind of a small tangent but related, I should introduce myself. My name is Dan C. Bearded, and I do want to say thank you to all of you for watching this video and a special shout out for those returning subscribers, right? I said that we can help other people. When you come back to support this platform, to watch these videos, to hit that thumbs up, please do right now. You're not only helping your beard, you're not only helping this channel, but it's getting this video, this channel out to many more people that could potentially help their beard and their life. So thank you guys for that. And if you are new here, please consider subscribing if you like learning about your beard. So let's jump right into it. You have a beard product you don't like. We gotta start by breaking it into two categories. Hopefully the first category is a very small one and then the second one's the bigger discussion. The two categories would be, the bigger one is something is a good quality product it just doesn't work for you for whatever reason. That happens. We have personal preference. We have personal variables that can change whether it's good for us or not. We'll get to that one. Now the other side is you get a product and it's just not a quality product. It has silicones, it has mineral oils. It just shouldn't be on anybody's beard, in your opinion or my opinion, whether you bought it and you didn't know any better or it was gifted to you. What do you do with those? That's a tough one. My advice is find something practical to use it on that is not related to human skin and hair. What do I mean by that? If you have a creaky door, a terrible silicone beard oil makes really good lubricant for that door. If you're working around the garage and you need something that usually requires like a WD-40 or some kind of other oil, maybe go grab that garbage product. That can make a big difference. If you have something like that, that's really the only use that I can think of I need your guys' help here. Terrible quality product, other than using it around the house, what can you do with it aside from throwing it away? That one's got me stumped, but I know you guys might have some good ideas out there. Maybe you won't, but we'll explore it at least. Now the second half. You get a beard product. Maybe it was recommended by somebody you trust. Maybe you went on a whim and the ingredients looked good. The reputation was great. The reviews were awesome. It just doesn't work for you. I've had that. I've had ones that are just highly recommended by people that are personal in my life, that love it, and it just didn't work. My beard didn't style well, my skin didn't react well to it, Sam didn't like the scent. I've worn a beard oil where I got into the van to go on a trip with our family to go get some food. She literally was like, I, I can't do it, babe. She doesn't ever tell me what to do, but she's like, if you come in this van with that beard oil on, I'm going to get a massive headache. Could you please go wash it out? And I've had to go wash an oil out because of that. She is also, you guys know Sam, she's a savage. She's said on, on video reviews before that one product smelled like vomit. And it wasn't even, it didn't go rancid, it didn't go bad, it just smelled like vomit. So there's things where people love it, but maybe it's not for you. Here's my advice on what to do with those products. First and foremost, the greatest thing you can do is pass it on to somebody else. Maybe it's a bearded friend, a bearded family member. Maybe your delivery man that comes to the house every day has a beard and you want to gift him. Maybe you ask online, say, hey, is there anybody that wants this? Just pay for shipping or I'll ship it out to you, no problem. That's an amazing thing to do with that product. Now you have to eat that cost, right? You paid for it and you're just passing it on as a gift. I get that, 100%. But maybe it sparks them to try new products. Maybe it comes back to you eventually and they buy something and they pass it on to you. You'd be shocked at how giving can come back to you in great ways, especially when you're not intending for it to do. So that's one way that could be a great thing to do. What is something else? On Facebook, I've heard mixed reviews on this, but there are some buying, selling, and trading Facebook groups for beard products. I don't know the names of them, but if you just search on Facebook, buy, sell, trade beard products, you'll probably find a group and people will post things where they sell them, where they trade them. That's a good option that you can have. Other than that, maybe find a different use for it. If it's not great on your beard, uh, it's not gonna style well, doesn't feel great, Maybe try it on dry skin like your elbows. Maybe try it on your legs. If it's not a scent issue, that could be a good use for it. If it is a scent issue, 
Maybe take a beard oil that you already like, or maybe it's you feel like a good pair and mix them. Maybe add an unscented oil with it so you're diluting the scent. Couple of options that you could have there, but I believe the best way to approach it on something that's quality but not for you is try to pass it on to someone else. I do that on a very, very regular basis, but of course I'm in a unique situation. I get that, I totally understand. So to wrap this up, I wanna know your guys' thoughts out there. You get a product that you paid for, you worked hard for, it just didn't work for you. What do you do with it? Give us your thoughts in a comment, give us your ideas. Also, what questions do you have? And maybe the concept of, hey, what if I don't like it? Should I contact the company? Two things to think about as we leave here on contacting a company on a perfectly good product that you don't like or it doesn't work for you. Number one, do they have a printed explanation on their website of their policy? If they have like 100%, no questions asked, full returns, go ahead. Full refund, go ahead. You can go approach that. If they don't, it's a tough kind of moral question, right? It's likely a mom and pop owned company and you took the risk of the scent, the product, should they have to eat that cost? I don't know that answer. That is a tough one. If they have a policy, I think that that's fully fair. If they don't, hmm, I don't know. I would love to hear you guys' thoughts on that as well if you've made it this far on the way out of the video. I just can't wait for this comment section because this is going to be a true community conversation. Even if you're not going to contribute with the words of typing them, go down and read, hit some thumbs up on the comments that you do like and you do value. Thank you guys one more time. My name is Dancy Bearded. Please. Stay bearded and stay positive.